Hello everybody. Today I will show you how you can use both AdMob and Facebook Guardians network in your Android app and then control which network ads to show remotely via Firebase. Aim is that if you want to show AdMob ads in your app without updating your app remotely via Firebase, you have to change just one value in Firebase real time database. If AdMob has Add limit you can switch to Facebook audience network via Firebase remotely let's start our project first of all create new Android project now add Firebase add move and Facebook audience network dependencies in build or gradle add plugin and play services plugin right here Now create new project in Firebase database. Now download Google Services .json, copy it and paste it here. Now create second activity. Now go to strings.xml and paste sample ad IDs for AdMob and Facebook audience network. Remember you have to replace these sample IDs with real add IDs. Now go to Android manifest.xml and add internet permissions. Now add add more metadata right here. Now go to activity main.xml and create linear layout with one button as follows. Now go to activity second.xml and create a relative layout, a text view, and a relative layout for AdMob and Facebook audience network banner ad containers.
add admob and facebook audience network banner add containers in inner layout as follows now go to main activity dot java and create variables for interstitial ads and its string now initialize facebook as audience network right here in on create now create database reference its childs and database snapshots in on create exactly like this remember these values should exactly match with firebase values create if and else statement if admob add is permitted you have to load admob interstitial ads only else you have to load facebook audience network and ads only Now inside on create initialize a button and set on click listeners. Now in on click you have to show loaded ad mob or Facebook audience network ads like this one. Remember you have to add on add dismissed listener for ad mob. Go to second activity. If ad mob ad is not permitted, then write code to show Facebook ads. There are two conditions. Show show value is equal to no and FB add is loaded and valid. Then show it otherwise not. If both add move and Facebook audience network are not loaded, go to second activity. Now create these two methods load add move interstitial ads and load fb interstitial ads. Now go to second activity Java. Create variables like this. Now initialize Facebook audience network and add move like this. Now create database reference, its child and data snapshot as you did in main activity. Create a false statement to which network banner adds to show. Now create two methods load add more banner ads and load fb banner ads. Now we have to test our ads. As in Firebase, we have set value to yes for AdMob ads permitted. So only AdMob ads will be shown. Let's test it. Luckily, AdMob ads are being shown. No change value to no in Firebase. And now, if we are lucky, Facebook audience network ads should be shown. Luckily Facebook ads are being shown. Now you have to be able to control ads via Firebase remotely. What is its benefit? 
use this method to switch between head networks without updating your app for every time switching between networks. If you got add move add limit, switch to Facebook and when add move add limit is removed, switch back to add move remotely. If you have any queries, leave a comment, like this video, subscribe my channel to support me. Thanks.